Good day and welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Armin's High Life. We do videos of firewood, tree jobs, and a bit of outdoor exploring. In today's video, we are talking a little bit about our Range Road firewood processor. As you guys see in the very beginning of the video, we were posting up a bunch of wood there. We probably got about a cord uh, finished up here just this evening time. Decent little uh, chunk out of our uh, log pile on our, just behind us here in our uh, calf shelters here keep everything uh, nice and dry in here and we're able to work all pretty much all night if we really wanted to with all the lights in here a little chilly but uh with the lights and uh just if when you keep them going it definitely keeps you it keeps you warmed up here but uh, a little bit about our processor here these are these uh cheaper chinese processors that you can find either on ebay on your local market site facebook or uh sometimes even uh youtube here and uh, these guys go for between between seven thousand to ten thousand dollars, depending on what you want put onto them. We're going to talk a little bit more into that. I'm going to get you guys turned around here on the camera so you guys get a little bit better look on here. And we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about this guy here. All right, so here's our full unit right here. This, like I said, it's the Range Road RR20T. It's a twenty-ton uh, processor. It's a nice little unit. You got uh, your your chainsaw here. You got a solid wood stop. So when you come out here, we got this uh, measured out to 16 inches. Since it is uh, made in China, there's a few little uh, little hiccups that you got on this processor. One, it's a uh, kind of cheaper grade steel, as you guys can see. This has uh, gone through a lot of wood. It's probably done well, quite a few hundred or. Uh, cords possibly even into thousands now but uh she's definitely warped up on the sides hence why when you guys see me splitting i kind of hold my logs up here otherwise they get kind of jammed on either side there up here we got a pair of vice grips to kind of hold our thing otherwise uh we just got two little screws that kind of put a little bit of pressure onto this one bar here and uh you keep slamming uh wood after wood here this is going to slowly millimeter by millimeter push out here and your pieces are going to get bigger so I throw on a pair of vice grips there just to hold her and make sure she stays. Chainsaw is pretty typical. We got an 18 inch uh, bar on here. You got uh, your two nuts with uh, your tensioner as you guys can see right there. This one is uh, all hand lever down. The newer machines, I think they got a hydraulic and uh, a cylinder. This one is uh, spring loaded. These guys are pretty good. They're good up to about, uh, I find, about five to six cords before they snap. When they snap, the whole chainsaw kind of comes down, but uh, you usually feel it as you make a one cut, it breaks, and then you kind of just, oops. But uh, those go for about four or five dollars. I usually pick up about three or four of these at a time. It's always nice to have those on standby. We come, uh, these units come with uh, the Kohler motor. Also, you can get a Honda or I think a Bridge and Strathen motor on them. The motors come with about a year or two warranty. The whole unit itself does not come with any warranty, really. And so I like to get into another part of this. If you do, guys, if you guys do come around one of these units, uh, a lot of people you can uh, you can go on to uh, eBay or you can actually buy them from these Chinese sites. Then you got to get the, the shipping brought all over here. It's just nice, I find, to get uh, find a dealership because there are quite a few of these units out here. They got, uh, well, the Range Road. They got the newer one from Range Road now, the Echo 300. Uh, I've seen the orange unit, the red unit. There's a blue unit. There's a green unit. Pretty much quite a few of these units, just different colored, different brand named. I'd find a dealership that's close to you, get one, and uh, at least when you have a breakdown, you have somebody there knowledgeable enough to uh, kind of troubleshoot these things, and you can buy extra parts for them. Otherwise, if you buy one of these off eBay or you order one from the site, save yourself a couple thousand dollars, and uh, well, getting all these parts, it might be another uh, issue for yourself. But uh, I'd recommend getting one of these from the at least dealership. They kind of got a bit of a knowledge on them, and uh, they got extra parts for when you have a do break when you have a breakdown, and you will have a couple breakdowns with chip. But that's with all splitters that you get out there these days. But uh, the difference between the pricing is uh, like this one. I got to pull the logs in myself. 
some of these some of these newer units, they got a belt, an infeed belt for your logs. So you just pull a little lever, sucks it in here, and then uh, makes that a lot easier. One of the little upgrades I did was I turned into a chain conveyor. They did have a belt on these things, but the belts are notorious on, I find, I've heard and find on most of the machines is that they kind of get veered off on either side. Or uh, at the bottom here, when you get your wood pieces coming out, they'll actually hit there. You guys can see I've added some metal chunks on here, and they're already starting to bend down from my uh, wood getting jammed up in this area. At least with the chain here, it's a quick little fix. Instead of with the belt, you got to lace it all up, and it can be a bit of a hassle. I wish I did two uh, chains going up here. That might be a future project, but I only got the one right now. Also, I'm not sure if everybody's doing it comes with one of these nowadays But if you don't get one of these uh, grizzly grills Our conveyor used to be hooked right up to our processor which always got jammed this thing Separates a little bit of debris and it gives it just that extra little bit of room So not as many pieces get jammed up in here Although we still get the odd piece that jams up, but not nearly as much as we used to uh, We got our big splitting wedge four-way it you can also get a six-way wedge it is a uh, hand levered you got to pull it up and down it would be nice to get a hydraulic lift on her but that's okay the range road the company that i bought this off of they're actually making uh they have already got their, their new processor built up it's a thirty thousand dollar processor so quite a bit uh, more than these guys but it's all fully Canadian made. It's got pretty much all the little corks that came with this unit. They pretty much fixed out the bigger unit. Kind of a lot more unit, bigger stuff. I'm going to eventually get that on uh, the channel here. The, some of the newer stuff. I'm not sponsored by Range Road by any means. I just like the brand. Especially these guys. Just how cheap they are. Not saying go with uh, Range Road. Like I say, there are quite a few of these companies that are out here that sell these pretty much the same units. Uh, just go find one. If you're looking just to get started up, they do pay for themselves quite quickly. Make sure you're a little handy on uh, a little bit of uh, mechanic-wise. Just would be nice to have a welder and uh, a few little things like that. Keep, keep, like, keep a couple bolts in handy and stuff, whatnot. But uh, great units for the price. Like I said, this one was uh, $7,200 uh, pre-built everything when we bought it with taxes all in it. So it was a pretty good deal. But yeah, I just kind of want to talk about our processor here. And uh, we're going to be right, definitely uh, getting into a few more videos this upcoming uh, month or whatnot. Just because uh, we're pretty busy in the daytimes. And when we have a little bit of extra time, we're going to be in here probably splitting with our processor. And making some videos for you guys. But uh, that's going to be today's video. We'll talk to you guys again next week there. Thanks for tuning in to Arms High Life. Bye, guys.